Good news is, I'm okay. I'm alive. And I'm not well, but I'm alive and I will be alright. day and I'm headed to the hospital now I'm hot I just got out of the shower because you have to you have to shower right before you have to shower at night and then you have to shower in the morning and I have to use this certain soap scrub something I don't know what it's even called and I have to use that and I gotta use dial so my skin feels tight and I'm itchy and I can't put lotion on I can't do anything so no wait a minute Talon so my mom's driving me and dropping me off Talon's in here and Bree's in here so she's gonna have them the girls are at school so they'll be able to help her I'm hoping without any you know problems when they get out of school here in a little bit but I have to be there at 1130 I'm running a little bit late but it's okay and uh, surgery starts at 1 but it's supposed to start at 1 it never really like starts at 1 o'clock so what? Yeah, I know it's jumping. It's it's jumping. That's all right. That's what Mario does. He doesn't even understand what Super Mario Brothers are, and they come in the McDonald's toys, and he makes Mom. that boink 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 that noise like when he hops and he's trying to hop over something. He don't even get it. Mom. What? Yeah, well, that's what you're supposed to do. But anyways, here's the first update of the morning. I'm super tired. I just couldn't sleep last night. Just couldn't do it. I don't know. So, I'm showered up. I'm itching like no other. I can't scratch. And my face feels so tight because I couldn't even put on lotion. I just... I feel like a snake. I really do. Ugh. That, I feel like a snake with that scaly skin. With with using dial soap and then using this, this other stuff. I don't like it. But off we go. So this is this is this is this. And Talon wants the radio up, so I'm going. Goodbye, B. You behave for Nini. And their medicines have the oh. N on it at, for the night. Oh, yeah. yeah. They have an N on the lid. <laughs> you forgot, didn't you? Okay. Goodbye, baby. Give me ten. Oh, she wants to get out. That's not you know you're going to Grandma Peaches, so behave at Grandma Peaches' house. Say bye. What? Oh, oh, a kiss and hug. Okay. Wants a kiss and hug. Okay, kiss and hug. All right, kiss and hug. Mwah. Give me a hug. Ah. All right, don't lose your hat. I think I'll be just fine. Thank you, Mama. You all behave for Nene? Oh, he's saying yes. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, no, I'm, um, registration. Registration. It gets real now, y'all. Okay. I got my bag of all my stuff and goodies and 
everything in here. Tablet, inhalers, and all that nonsense. I'm just waiting in registration. Waiting for my name. It's 11.58, so I was kind of stuck in registration because it was busy, and then I walked up here, and they were like, oh, we don't have a room yet, so just waiting now. Got my bracelet, Now I'm all good to go. <sighs> But now I'm just waiting. My anxiety level is through the roof. Like, just literally through the roof. So, now I'm just, I'm just waiting. Yeah, we will see. Nope, here is my room. I'm in pre-op now. It's uh, a little after 12. I gotta put the booties on, the gown on, all my clothes going here, and I have a hat. So, yep. Here's pre op. I have to put everything away so you all won't see me till after surgery. So, wish me well. trouble breathing so I have oxygen going through right here and I'm on a morphine drip and I control it myself with this button and it controls the machine every six minutes I can hit the button and it gives me morphine through my IV. And they brought me some food which I didn't eat. They had some jello. I had a couple bites of jello. But I'm on fluids, which is up there. And basic things but yeah surgery was two hours long I feel awful it is it is 7.30 right now and all I've done is sleep I didn't wake up till about 5 I'm in a recovery room, and um, something's beeping, but I'll try and update here in a little while. My stomach hurts so bad, I'm telling y'all, it's awful, but I will, I'm gonna close my eyes for a little bit longer. Also, I can't get up out of the bed. 
I have a catheter in, so I don't, um, just, I don't get up, I'm here, and I have an air bed, and it, it constantly adjusts to keep me comfortable and stuff, oh god, but I'm telling you, it's just, oh, so this is post-surgery about three hours past surgery. I'm still having a little more trouble breathing. I might have to tell them to turn this up. But we'll see. I don't know. But, um, but yeah. Uh, pain level is about an eight right now and I'm sorry if y'all can't hear me my throat is so scratchy from the tube that was down my throat but I'm gonna get a little bit more rest and I'll update you guys here in a little bit Hey guys, I'm coming in for another update. It is, um, it's one, hold on, I don't even know what time it is. It's, uh, it's 1.40 a.m. I haven't updated since about 8 p.m., so it's been a little while. I have, uh, not moved, obviously. I still have my oxygen because I'm having trouble breathing. Um, I'm still on my morphine drip pump, however you want to call it, which is right here, and sit in there, and that, so I'm, I'm on medication to keep me comfortable, my belly hurts whenever I even try and move and sometimes talking right now it, it's the force of talking it's hurting I'm sorry if y'all can hardly hear me I'm just, and I don't have to get up because they actually give you a catheter while you're asleep so no this is a little TMI but this is life, you know. I'll show you. So if you don't want to see if that kind of hurts you, you know, don't look. But I'm not showing anything that's crazy. But see right here. And it just it drains all the way out. But like I said, that's that's life, you know, this is how it is, so. Hi guys, good morning. It is 8.35 in the morning. And breakfast just came. Let's see what I got. Which I don't know if I'm gonna eat it anyway, but we'll just see. Oh, it looks like an orange. So there's an orange and I guess like a burrito thing. So it looks like and a hash brown. And there's my ginger ale I've been drinking. Looks like pudding or something like that. I guess it's pudding. And I can smell that. So that must be coffee, which I don't do. And then there's a juice. I wonder what it is. I can't even reach it. I can't reach it. And the doctor has not come in yet, which I'm sure he'll be making his rounds. 
but he hasn't come in yet. But I do know that I have my ovaries. They did not have to take them. I don't know. I will double check that, of course, with the doctor when he comes in. Hey, guys. It is uh, about 10.30 in the morning. Almost 11, actually. But um, I'll be going home today, too. Later on, like, like way later. He said this evening. Because I'm not really eating because I don't have an appetite. and They have to wean me off of my morphine drip and on to regular oral pain medicine and I have to eat something and actually hold it down and I have to get off oxygen which I'm still on as you can see so it's a slow process but I'll be home later on to tonight at some point in time. And I want to say too, thank you all for all the prayers that I've gotten from my other video that I posted and from Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat. I appreciate the love so much. Thank you all. It means so much to me. So I will catch up here. Oh, sure. they just took me off of um, my IV fluids. I've had three bags of fluid. It just ended. So they took me off of that. They disconnected me. So it's over there. I still have my IV in my arm in case they have to administer some kind of medicine for anything else but I just um, my IV morphine was stopped it was at the end and it wasn't starting to help anymore so now they gave me oral pain medicine and I just took that and as you can see, I kind of have the bed at an angle now. I'm not laying down. Oh my god, it hurts so much to sit up like this. I'm not, I am hurting so bad. I was crying and the nurse was in here. And I just, I hate crying in front of people. But I am hurting so bad. So bad right now. And here in a little bit, they're going to help me up. We're going to go use the bathroom. And she's going to help me shower up and, you know, kind of get cleaned up. Well, it's 12.30. It's kind of hard to see, but it's 12.30 and my lunch just arrived. So I got wedges and a burger, um, sweet tea. Fresh fruit, which is really good, actually. Um, dessert, which I'm not sure what it is. And tomato and lettuce. And this is just my ginger ale I've been sipping on. So I'm going to try and eat. Because the doctor wants me to eat. So let's hope it tastes good, at least. Oh, good goodness. Good morning, guys. I am actually home from the hospital. I didn't vlog too much <clears throat> day two. This is technically day three. Day two, after I showed, I think, lunch, I ended up falling asleep. Um, and they took me off the drip. I don't know if I showed that or not. They took me off the morphine, and then they started giving me just pain medication orally because I was just so sleepy. So, I'm like, okay, that's fine. They were giving me 800 milligrams of Motrin and Percocets, I think. I think is what it was. Don't hold me to that. I don't know. So, that was helping kind of. Then, my stepmom, which is my mom. I just call her mom. It's all the same. She came up and sat with me for a while. 
I hadn't gotten out of that bed at all. So I've been in a bed from surgery till about, oh, I don't know, maybe 4.30 or 3.30, something like that. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time breathing. Uh, they had to get me up and I had to go pee and I had to shower. I wasn't allowed to go home until I peed. But the thing is, I had to pee a certain amount. Like, if it was just a little bit, I still wasn't going to be able to go home. But I just barely made that amount that I had to pee to go home. And I took a shower, which I really wasn't a shower. It was kind of like liquid soap. And they just kind of put it on me. And I used, like, the sprayer thing. It just went like that. And it felt good. It helped my belly a lot. A lot. So then I got back in the bed. And it was time for more pain medicine. And then my dinner came. I did not leave until like 7.30 from the hospital. So I was there under care and everything till 7.30. It took about an hour to get home because that car ride is no joke. I felt like I was getting stabbed. And I had just had pain medicine before I left. That did no did It did no judgment. Okay, like seriously. Oh, I came home. I laid and I... I peed one more time before I laid down, which was good. They didn't want me to, like, keep going to pee for some reason. I don't know what's up with that, but... Uh, I've just had... I've been struggling with my breathing. Like, my heart rate... I don't know. I, I just put my Fitbit back on, so now I'm going to watch my heart rate. Because I haven't had it on since surgery, which I've had. I had to take everything off anyway. So now I'm going to keep an eye on that. I'm not going to lie. It is freaking hard. I just got up again to pee. It is... It is uh, 1220 on Sunday. Surgery was Friday afternoon. So it's been maybe 48 hours, almost 48 hours since surgery. And I just got up, peed, brushed my, ha brushed my teeth, washed my face. Yes, like I'm wearing a wrap. I know y'all never see me like this. I mean, I'm just, I'm sorry. I look probably like a, a dog. I mean, I'm, I feel awful. I'm trying to get dressed. I just put on a cami and like a like a little sports bra thing because it's like it's just nothing's happening today. My mom went to get my medicine filled because last night it was too late and she couldn't get it filled. It was too late. So she's gone. She took the kids because I can't watch them. I'm no lifting for me. No driving for two weeks. Like I'm on a lot of restrictions. My belly feels weird. I mean, it just, it feels weird. I got to keep my ovaries. I don't know if I said that either. Everything else is gone. Everything is gone. But my ovaries are still there. So I don't have to be on hormone medicine because he kept my ovaries. He said that they were okay and they were good enough to keep. So I'm like, wow, there's some positive news, right? Oh, God. But my belly just feels funny. I feel, I feel like there's nothing there. Like, it. I don't know. I've already had my gallbladder out, so now my, my uterus is out. I just have this emptiness feeling. I'm sure I'll be okay. It just, it hurts. I have three incisions that make, that go across my belly. I don't know why you just didn't do a C-section cut. Because one starts at one side and it ends at the other, but they're split up little sections. So, I, uh, he said that he could have done a C-section cut, but he didn't. I'm like, well, he honestly could have because it's, it goes all the way across. So I'm standing with the help of this cane because I can't stand up without that. Uh, I'm not standing straight up either. I'm kind of leaning because it hurts. My belly is burning. I'm waiting on medicine to come. <laughs> Motrin is on its way and my pain medicine is on its way. Oh God, but I had to get up and go to the bathroom. And I'm so sorry again for the way I look. I mean... I normally don't even show myself looking like this. I took all extensions out. Everything. I have nothing. I just have it just like wrapped up in this little thing. And it's just going to be that way until I feel like I have to do something. So, excuse this because you all know me. I look like, you know, I look presentable all the time. But this, this surgery is really taking a toll on me plus my breathing it's like I was on oxygen for a long time and they took me off of it around noon yesterday and so it's been 24 hours off of it and I haven't breathed the same like I'm struggling like I feel like my chest is heavy I don't know I'm gonna call the doctor's office about that because I just don't I don't feel right like something's just not right 
And of course, I got sent home from the hospital with the sexy spanky panties. I mean, yes, you know, we got to wear those, which is what I have on now. And I got two pairs. There's this one, and then I have a, another one over there. So I got my spanky panties on. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have them on because I can't wear the regular underwear. They're like tight, and these are just, I feel like I don't have anything on. So maybe later I'll show my belly. I'm not really wanting to show it right now. I'm having very, very bad pains in my stomach. It just, it's, it's hard to describe it. It feels like you're having contractions, and they said that that was normal. And I have no uterus, so it's like, okay, what? I don't understand. But they said it was normal, and I feel like I'm having contractions in my belly constantly. Um, there was gas that they put in to blow myself up. I'm trying to relieve that gas pressure, because that ain't no joke either. Oh my god. It's, it is, it's just rough. It's freaking rough. So... I am going to lay down. I got Netflix plugged in. <sighs> My mom is gone with the kids, so I got to break them in it. But it doesn't matter. I can't watch them anyway. I mean, I can see them and I can talk to them. I can't watch them. I can't pick up anybody. I can't lift anything. Um, no driving for two weeks. Um, of course, they want me to walk, but I'll walk when I can. And my compression belt, I'm actually going to put on probably tomorrow. And it's this belt that I actually wear to the gym. And it, it helps you sweat and you lose weight faster. And I'm going to put this on tomorrow. I'm giving my belly a rest. But that will, like, hold everything in because it hurts. So I started to do it today, and I'm like, no, I think I'm just going to wait one more day, and then I'll do it. And I usually just wear that around the house. See, you all didn't even know I had it. I wear that all the time. It helps you sweat, and when you sweat, you lose weight. So it's like, hey. But at the gym, it really, like, it, I come home and I'm drenched in that thing, which is good. That's really good. So, yeah, there's a little update. I need to lay down here for a minute. And I'll show Belly here in a little while. But I just wanted to do a quick update. Here's Aerie. She's been outside playing. Watch my belly. Watch my belly. Oh, Aerie's been outside playing. And she didn't go to the... I don't place. Want to. She didn't want to, but my mom's coming in now. So, medicine time for me, and I'm resting. So, I'll check back in in a little while. I managed to move from the bed to the couch just now, actually. I've been laying in the bed since last night, and I needed a change of scenery. I'm just. I needed a change of scenery. So, I am, uh. Your diaper. And all well, the kids are having a meltdown moment. So, um, my mom is going to hold the camera and I'm going to show y'all my belly. Because, I mean, I have three incisions. One's through the belly button, I think, because I couldn't find where, the, where it was. One is in the belly button, the other two are like down on the side, so it looks like a, like maybe like you're making a triangle point or something like that. <laughs> Incision is like in the belly, I think. It's in the belly button somewhere. You can't really tell. I've got so many cuts all over my belly from all the surgeries. It looks like you play. So it's kind of hard to even tell, but one of them I think is in the belly button because my belly button is funny looking now and it feels like there's something that was in there because i feel stitching so i think one is through the belly button one is down here on the side it's the longer cut and it's down here because one cut was already here and the doctor went underneath so there's a long cut here and then on my right side there's, I gotta find it. It's like right under here, there's another cut right in this area, right there. But the one that hurts the most is this, this one. I don't know why, but this whole side of me is just, it, it, it hurts to no end. 
So there are my incisions, other than all the ones that are already there, because I have so many from all the other surgeries. I'm going to shower again later on. I showered last night at the hospital, and this heating pad helps too. I showered last night. My mother, stepmother is bringing the... Um, it's like a stool that you can put in the tub to sit down, so she's bringing that so that that'll help me because I can't stand up to take a shower. And plus the warm water helps too. It just gets my mind off of the pain for a minute, so she's bringing that. I still am having the gas pain from where they had to put the gas in you to do whatever they need to do. That That part I think is as worse as getting cut open so I'm still dealing with that and she's bringing me some gas X actually to help and see if see if that helps relieve some of this gas pain and um, well as far as bleeding output goes I am still bleeding but it's not like heavy it's just light bleeding which they said that's normal my recovery is two weeks, no driving, no lifting, just rest pretty much for two weeks. That's all I'm, I'm allowed to do. So I am going to go ahead and end this vlog about surgery and updates. If anybody has any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, comments, questions, prayers, whatever. Leave them down below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Thank you guys for the support. And yeah, the, you know, the girls are like chugging Pepsi away and they were told not to, so that's a no-no. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, new subscribers, welcome to the channel. And everyone else, love you guys and I will see you in my next